Hello grade 12s. In this video, we are going to learn how to determine the equation of a circle where the origin is the center of the circle. Let's have a look. Remember that a circle is a set of points which are equal distances away from a fixed point, the center of the circle. The distance from the center to any point on the circumference is the length of the radius. Remember that the distance around the circle is the circumference. We are now going to have a look at the circles where the center is the origin. In other words, the center has x and y coordinates of 0, 0. The equation of the circle with the center 0, 0 is x squared plus y squared equal to r squared, where the radius is the distance from the center to any point on the circumference of the circle. Let's have a look at a few examples on how to determine the equation of a circle if the origin is the center. Determine the equation of the circle with center the origin and a radius of 5. Remember that whenever we use a formula, we always write it down. In this case, we will use x squared plus y squared equals to r squared because the center of the circle is at the origin. We were given the length of the radius so we can substitute r with 5. Therefore, the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared equals to 25. That wasn't too difficult. Let's take a look at another example. Why don't you try this one before looking at the answer? Determine the equation of the circle with center the origin passing through the point s negative 4, negative 2. In this case, we have values for x and y. x is negative 4 and y is negative 2. We need to use the formula to find the equation of the circle. Let's start by writing it down. x squared plus y squared equals to r squared. Now substitute x with negative 4 and y with negative 2. This gives us 16 plus 4 equals r squared. Therefore, 20 is equal to r squared. Therefore, the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared equal 20. Didn't you find that easy? Now let's try something more challenging. In the next example, we are given one coordinate and the equation of the line. We need to calculate the other coordinate. B negative square root 8 is a point on the circle with equation x squared plus y squared equal to 17. Determine possible values of B. With questions like this, we always first start with the information given. x squared plus y squared equal to 17. We also know that the value for x is B and the value for y is negative square root of 8. Now let's substitute this information into the given equation. This gives us b squared plus, in brackets, negative square root of 8 squared equals 17. Multiply out the brackets and we now have b squared plus 8 is equal to 17. Therefore, b squared is equal to 9. To find the value of b, we will square root both sides of the equation. Remember that whenever we square root like this, we will have two possible answers, one positive and one negative. Therefore, b is equal to 3 or negative 3. Thank you for joining us. Practice what you have learned by trying to do the questions on our task video on advanced analytical geometry. You'll also be able to learn more about analytical geometry on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.